show you how to make some rum balls. Hey, wait a minute. What's that smell? It smell like something burning. Well, that don't confront me none. As long as I get my rent paid on Friday. Part of the preparation in our uh, rum balls is to take the, if you don't have, if your pecans aren't already chopped up, then you'll want to get some uh, pecans and put them in something like this or whatever. This is an old timey one. We just crank the handle and uh, it chops up the nuts for us. So that's going to, you have to chop your nuts somehow. All right. Be All back right, folks, once you've crushed up about one cup of pecans, then what we're going to do is we're going to get out the confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar, the cocoa, the rum, and vanilla wafers. Also, we're going to get out some corn syrup. Be right back with the next step. Okay, folks, in this next step, we're going to take the pound or three cups of vanilla wafers, and we're going to crush them all up. Really good. I mean, really good. All right. Be right back when I get these all done. All right, folks. The expert's going to show me how to crush up these things. No, don't hit me with it. <laughs> Goodness, lady. All right. We're in Grandma Regan's kitchen. And she said the best way to crush these vanilla wafers is... To use the rolling pin, just like so. Get it, we got to get them all crushed up really, really fine. Or and use one of those processors. A blender. Which I don't do. Or something. I process, there's too little to put much of anything in it. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Chop these up. Be back with the next step. Alright folks, once you got your uh, vanilla wafers all ground up and crushed up or whatever this is what it needs to look like it needs to be very fine kind of powdery like almost like a cornmeal would look or something like that all right all right how much of that a cup one cup of confectioner's sugar powdered sugar y'all stick it in the bowl stir it in make sure the lumps are out of it all right because you're going to roll your rum balls or bourbon balls in here I right, go ahead and mix it in. What? No, you don't mix it in. You mix. You, you put oh, okay, that's ball. right. That's right. You don't mix that in there. You roll the ball in it after. That's right. Save that for later. That's Domino's 10x powdered sugar. Yeah, that's whatever. It don't matter. Okay, see this uh, recipe does not really call for uh, these cherries that she has, but she's gonna make some of them with cherries in it just to show you that you can do this. All right, here comes the cocoa. How much cocoa do you need to add into it? I like to use candied cherries, but I couldn't find any, so I'm using maraschino and I'm draining them to okay. make sure the liquid's out. Okay? That's fine, all right. But I'm going to have to refrigerate them, though, unless we eat them all today. Well, okay. They're, they're better if you eat them warm. All right. All right, I need three, tab three tablespoons. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Have you been into that bottle of Bacardi already? You caught me. Uh-oh. <laughs> One and a half tablespoons of cocoa. All right. Hershey's unsweetened. Yep, unsweetened cocoa. One. Drop it on in there. That's one tablespoon. And. A half. A half a tablespoon. And I'm, I'm letting it heap over. I don't care. All yeah, right. Caution to the wind today. All right, there you go. Okay. What are you going to drop in there next? I always put a rubber band over this because one time I picked it up from the top and the lid fell off. Oh, gosh. And all the cocoa went on everywhere. This is how to cook rum balls, not how to fix everything in your kitchen. <laughs> Come on. Shut up. <laughs> We're making a movie. Shut you don't need up. to tell me you put a rubber band on your cocoa. Well, it's a good tip sometimes. Yeah, I guess it's a good tip. To know, because that cocoa is not cheap. Well. And if it falls all over the floor, 
it's hard to sweep it up and take the hairballs out of it. No, just get a vacuum and throw and it out. Reuse it. Oh, yeah. What are you doing there? I'm just mixing the mixing the cocoa, cocoa in. Cocoa in a little bit. Okay. So now you're gonna put now the. Now uh, I'm gonna dump. See, it's just a dump thing once you get everything done. Yep. Now you got a cup of ground cup up of ground pecans. Pecans. Put that in there. Mix it all in. Mix it up real good. This is going to help you to have a ho 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 Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> early. If you start early. Okay. It's pretty easy to do. Now that I got all that mixed in there, the only thing left to do is what, to what, put what, 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 Hold on a minute. What do you got going over there? Are you cheating right reading a book? Oh my lord, she I got I didn't make this up. She's got a book over there to do this with. I didn't make this up. Grab nab it. Three okay. Three tablespoons of light corn syrup. Hold it out there, we can see what you got. Three tablespoons of Caro light corn syrup. Alrighty. Any kind is okay. Okay. Caro's the best, but any kind is okay. Alright. So this kind is nice because it has a little spout. Oh yeah, sure does. One. The thing is, it takes a long time for all that syrup to get out of there. Mm-hmm. It's kind of slow, like oil, huh? Like molasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a relative of molasses. Now, I hope this doesn't mess up my chocolate pecan pie. I guess I'm gonna have to buy some more corn syrup. I can find some. I couldn't find any yesterday. Okay, now I'm gonna let this drip out. Yep. But I'm gonna help it with my clean finger. Yep. The one that I clean my ear with. Wonderful. That's my clean finger. Wonderful. There we go. The finger she cleaned her ear with. It's my cleaning finger, I told you. Oh, Lord. Okay. You just ruined everybody's rum balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have to use their cleaning finger. Now. I'm going to put in a half a cup of rum. All right. Not bourbon. These are bourbon balls, but we don't have right. any bourbon. You can use bourbon if you want, but use we're going to rum. use we're going to use white rum. See, Bacardi, Bacardi Superior. Well, yeah, that's fine. Rum. And we're going to put in how much? A half a cup. All right. Half a cup. Oops, I might have overshot it a little bit. There. Okay. Well. I'll put some back in. Put some back. Here, will you you want to cap that for me? Well, give me the other one and you can cap that. I got to work the... There you go. Get the cap on good and tight now. Oh, my God! Let me have that. Give me that. Give me that. You... You, what's wrong with you drinking all that? Didn't leave that for you. Is that why you're upset? Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. I didn't leave you any. Oh, God. That's pretty good. Oh, darn it. Okay. Dog, dang, Be back dang. in a minute. Okay, dump the rum in there. After you take a big old swig of it and mix it all up. Mix it all up real good. Would you like to say anything after you took that big old swallow of Bacardi? Oh, it tastes better. You feel better? It's better, sure. Yeah. All right. It's better. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you... Oh, excuse me. I have to be politically correct. I wish you a happy Christmas. No, a happy holiday. Happy holiday. Jingle bells. Batman smells. Robin laid an egg. Jeez, that smells good. Not the egg that Robin laid, but that rum, those rum balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now, we might have to go sit down and roll these in the balls because my back's starting to hurt. Can we bring that Bacardi with us? <laughs> Why not? Oh! <laughs> I 
Oh, yeah. All right, folks, we got it all mixed together real good now. Holly, I like this bowl. It helps me to hold on. Oh, I was, well, I was showing them something else. And, okay. Sorry. Now, how long do we cook it? We don't cook. Oh, That's don't, it. We don't cook it? It's done. We just have to roll it in the balls and dip it in the sugar. Okay. And that's all. Okay, See? well, let's get set up for that step, there? and we'll be right, right back. We're set up in our assembly area. And tell us what you're doing as you do it, please. I'm taking the cherry. Yep. And I'm going to try to mold this around the cherry. Okay. To make a ball. All right. With, and I don't want it to be too, too big. Because I don't want to get drunk on the first one. Ah. I want to have a few. All right. Cool. Okay. Now I'm going to roll it, like it said, in the confectioner's sugar. All right. That helps it to absorb a little bit so they don't all stick together and puts a little sweetness mm -hmm. in yep. there, too. Gotcha. Looks pretty good. See? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Then we put it in a little Christmas tree. We tip. didn't see it because you held it up there and I was zoomed in down there. Okay, so. well, I'm, I'm going to make another one. You're going to catch on pretty soon. Well, yeah, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to see how to do it. Now, you don't have to put the cherries in it. No, you don't. The, actually, the re recipe doesn't call for the cherries. She's just doing this because she likes them like that. So, I'm going to get her to make a couple that don't have cherries for me because I don't care for them either. You don't. Well, I want just rum balls. Heck, I'll just take the rum without the balls. <laughs> you can use this is good with eggnog, they say. I well, yeah, never that, had it that with, way. I don't think that'd be good with rum. <laughs> Were you watching? No, we know how to do that now. Okay, just ball them up into about a meat size, meatball sized ball and roll it in sugar well, it and then walnut size well walnut whatever then you stick them in the thing a walnut's about the size of a mate ball so uh that's how you make them folks and do you need to cool them off put them in the fridge or anything like that if you're going to put these cherries in them maraschino i would put them in the fridge okay and take them out before you want to eat a few okay because uh these cherries are not going to be, you know, kept. Whereas the candy cherries, it doesn't matter because they're, they've got some kind of preservative in them, and these don't have a. So they're ready to eat right now. Yes. All right. Good you deal. Try one. No, nope, not yet. Got to make a movie. All right, folks. That's how we do it. Thank you. Miss Happy holiday. Thank, thank you, Grandma Regan, for showing everybody how to do that. You're welcome. It's welcome. It's welcome. Yeah. That's just my slurring from the vodka, uh, uh, from the rum. I mean. Oh, you've been drinking vodka too? Damn! She told on herself. Bye, y'all. All right, folks, I'm going to give one of them a try. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. That's the one without the cherry. This is, yeah, this is the one without the cherry. Wow, and that's just, yes, that is delicious. I think you put too much rum in it, but it's good. It's strong. Woo! I like that. Good recipe. Mm. Why don't you uh, try my, uh, I have a grasshopper pie that is really Ooh. good too. Oh, cat wants it. I might try making one of them sometime. Okay. Try some coconut in here. Yeah, we just got an idea. Put coconut in a couple of them. Get your ball going and throw your little coconut there. Push it all together. Coconut rum balls. Sounds pretty good, don't it? Can't be bad. I think it'd be all right. I think it'd be all right, too. So we got some with with uh, cherries in it, we got some with coconut in it, and we got some just plain. Mm, this is gonna be good. Them coconut rum balls, those gonna be good. It's a good idea I had. You wanna try one? Not yet. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, when you're cooking, you have to keep tasting to make sure it's good. I know, but I gotta drive back home. Oh. I can't eat too many and drive back home. All right. 
Bye bye. Hey, wait a minute. What's that smell? It smells like something burning. Well, that don't confront me now. Long as I get my rent paid on Friday. Suck my balls.